All right, this is Greg Lounsbury. I have the new tall and fat and wide board right here, and it's uh, ready for final assembly. It uses the new three circuit board design, so uh, I have uh, I have an IO jack board, which is like this, and that mounts into the case. Then uh, there's a control board. This one only has one pot on it, but uh, the control board goes into the main board, and uh, the switch mounts to the main board. The electronics are here. And then all goes in together. So the uh, with the jack board mounted into the case, the rest of it just simply plugs in. Uh, that allows me to uh, test these outside of the case, and uh, everything you know is fully functional before I even assemble it. It also means that if I do assemble it and then find there's something about it I don't like and want to want to go in and work on, it comes back apart very quickly and easily. Um, so if there's any repair necessary. It's very modular and very easy to do. So what I'm going to do right now is the final assembly, which is basically that has just been plugged into the case. Which uh, anyway, um, so I get some screws in there. So that goes in quickly the old days of turning my wrist 10,000 times in a day or I'm just not going to do that anymore. So we'll go ahead and let Makita perform a vital function. And this is about how quickly they go together. So I could sit here in a session and I can assemble a lot of them in a session. I'm going to go ahead and get the rubber, the silicone rubber feet on there. So so it doesn't clack when it hits the tabletop. That'll protect protect your instrument from getting scratched up. Some people uh, Velcro them. These will come off if you want to Velcro them. And then um, last thing is a couple of knobs. So I get some knobs. I'm using Les Paul knobs, and I uh, I drilled a divot into these so that you could tell your position. That was, uh, that was a Roger Powell request. He uh, didn't like the fact that he didn't really know where the knobs were. And uh, that was on the prototype of the organ grinder. But essentially that's a finished one. Battery's in there nice and tight. I think it's beautiful. I think it sounds gorgeous. Um, it's great for um, not, just, uh, not just organs, but stereo keyboards, keyboard workstations. Uh, you can mix and master with it. There's all kinds of all kinds of uses. I've been uh, listening to my headphones through one. So available 10-1-2018. Thank you.